Scottish football is in an incredible place right now. The international team specifically, I mean, they are on the verge tonight. They win at home to Georgia of winning their first four games in qualifying for Euro 2024. Now they did qualify for Euro 2020, and it was decades since they had actually qualified for a tournament since then. Um, but that was through the Nations League and they had to go to Serbia and win on penalties. Whereas right now they're looking like they're going to qualify automatically from the group. Fingers crossed. I hope I've not just jinxed them. Um, I've seen Scotland play a lot. I love Scottish football. I do live up here and cover it of all ranges. And I've done hospitality before at non-league in Scotland. I've done it at Celtic. I've done it like Man City in England. I always pay for my hospitality tickets. I've never been given a hospitality ticket and I'll get press passes, but it's not quite the same as like hospitality. And I've paid for it for tonight. It was a sellout. So the only ticket I could get was a hospitality ticket. So I thought, why not do a video where I check out what hospitality is like at Hampden Park. It's a bit more expensive than the ones I paid for that I just mentioned there. Um, so stick around to the end and I'll actually tell you how much it costs. But today, it is, yeah, as much as I want to check out hospitality, it's all about Scotland. It'd be my dream to see them in Germany in 2024. I prefer to watch Scotland because it's, it's a contest every game. Yeah. It's not like England's one-sided, like 7-0. I really enjoy that. But you come here and you hope you're going to win. Yeah. But you're never sure you're going to win. <laughs> but how great has the last year, year and a half been oh, for Scotland? Been brilliant. I think I've, I think they've won. I think I've seen the last seven wins in a row. How good is it to be a Scotland fan right now? It's really unbelievable. Good. It's unbelievable. Good form at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever seen anything like it in your lives? No, not in my lifetime. And are you confident now that you'll qualify for the Euros? I think so. Yeah. Off to Germany. That's you reckon? Yeah. 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 After yeah. tonight, it'd be potentially four wins from four. You'd expect to beat Georgia at home. Yeah. What do you think the score's going to be? Two 0 Two nil. Three nil. Who would you say is the best player you've ever seen play for Scotland? Well, I've only seen him the last four years, so I would probably say him again. Again. Hey, you're at the top of the group, so. Yep. It's not what she can do. You've never known anything like this before in your I life, know. I suppose. This dominant. And who's been your favourite player in the last like McTominay. year or so? McTominay. Okay. okay. McGinn. McGinn. What do you reckon? You're saying McGinn yourself? Oh, McGinn. How would you say the last 18 months has been? Being a Scotland supporter. Kevin, what do you think? It's been incredible, hasn't it? Like Steve Clark's really turned the team yeah. around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Know, like, and we're proud of our national team again. I'm sure you've never seen anything like it in your life before with Scotland. No. Who's been your favourite player then? Uh, Callum McGregor. Callum McGregor, and yourself? Or probably Callum or uh, Kieran Gill. I take it your Celtic supporters. Oh, yeah. Mark, we are in the, what is this called? The Loman Suite, Suite, I believe. We're in the Loman Suite at Hamden Park. What do you think of it? Why did you get a ticket in here today and not in the regular seating? Well, just because it's sell tenants. Right, okay. But, uh, and that is the real reason. But obviously it was just a, I think where we bring all the guys. And yeah, yeah, of course. It's good, and it's not too bad, actually. It's a bit of a different experience in here. What do you think of, like, what you get for your money and stuff? Loving it. Watching the freestyle, the DJ, the food. It's all yeah. good. All good. Ah, absolutely. And how good is it being a Scotland fan right now? That's brilliant. Who's your favourite Scotland player? Um, I'm a Rangers fan, but Callum McGregor. The thought of going to one World Cup with Scotland is good enough. This guy has played in two. He's got over 50 caps, he's a Hall of Fame goalkeeper. Please put your hands together for Mr. Alan Ruff. <laughs> there must be a temptation to get those flights to Germany booked already, is there not? Yeah, I think I'm sure a lot of the guys and girls have already booked up. Uh, I think tonight, I think there'll be a mad rush. You're telling me people don't go to travel agents anymore. They do it on Twitter. In, in, so, the, in, the, in the last box, Alan said he was going to the travel agent in the morning. I tried to explain, we don't really do that anymore, but anyway. Here we go, that is the view of the pitch for tonight. We get a lovely padded seat for tonight for the cost of today's ticket. I'll be telling you what the cost is at the end of the game, remember.
Wow, the rain is absolutely biblical. Look at this. I've not seen rain as bad as this since uh, Celtic youth versus Real Madrid, youth at Airdrie, but Georgia, welcome to Glasgow. Jesus, it's rained so much that I hope you can actually see, but every time they kick the ball, look at the water, look at the amount of water that's splashing up. I'm sure there'll be a big debate over the Hamden pitch after this game. The Georgia manager is like chatting to the fourth official, not currently, but just a few seconds before, about the ball, like there was just a passage of play. It seems worse, like down there near the, the dugouts. It's so wet, honestly, I'm sure you're watching it or have seen highlights of the game, but the blokes around me think it could get called off, it's so bad, look at this. Have you ever seen anything like that in a big international before? The managers are discussing it, look. McGregor! to a fourth win out of four in, in international qualifying. They must be talking about the pitch. The VAR checks over, they must be talking about it. They're going off. The pitch is too bad. There's an announcement, so there's a delay by 20 minutes and um, we're gonna oh, see 20. if the pitch is play look playable. Well, I think it's 20, I couldn't hear. Some people saying 40, some saying 20. Stuart, there's a break in play right now. What do you think about what is currently going on? Absolutely shocking. Uh, for our national stadium, it's a disgrace, this. Have you ever seen anything like this? No, never, never. Not in all football matches I've been watching. 
and I feel I feel for all the fans, you know, everyone. It's, I mean, we're all here to watch a great game. Yep. We're on a high. Yep. And Scotland just scored as well. Scotland just scored on the ground. The pitch has let us down. So they've already been sweeping for 20 minutes. They're going to wait for another 10 minutes to see if they can sweep the water off. This is a UEFA qualifier. The original title of this video was going to be um, about the hospitality. If this game goes ahead, the, if this game doesn't go ahead rather, then the title of the video has obviously completely changed. I will be revealing how much of um, two seconds mate. I will be revealing how much I paid later on. But imagine paying what I paid and the game doesn't even get past like 10 minutes. But yeah, what do you reckon, mate? What do you reckon? I reckon it will carry on. Do you think it will carry on the game? I don't know. What do you think? I can't see how it can. Time is ticking on. We're getting towards the 20 minute deadline and there's still loads of people out. They've even roped in the ball boys to start sweeping. But it still looks absolutely drenched. 30 minutes we've been waiting now and the officials are coming out to take a look at the pitch. That goal mouth is an absolute mess. It is still soaking. The game will be abandoned. We'll play Cyprus. We'll get beat off of them. We'll get beat off of them and this is what happens. But everyone's good from Scottish and then some of us yeah, exactly. So I was going to say to you, like, obviously everything's going so well on the pitch, and then you're let down by something. It's an act of God. God genuinely hates us. What do you reckon, boys? Yeah, uh, I don't think it'll go on. You don't reckon it'll go on? Uh, the, the rain was pretty bad, but yeah. do you think the pitch should be good enough to sustain a bit of weather for Yeah, definitely. I'm just. Are you staying where we're scoring? So. It's going to be emerging in five minutes. You've just told me that is Hamden Park currently. Where about in the concourse somewhere? Do you reckon it will carry, the game will go on? Or? How can this go on? I think it's been close to an hour now that we've been waiting. Looks like Scotland want to continue, Georgia don't. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know if we're going to continue or not. Look at this. It's now nine o'clock. We've only played nine minutes of the game. At this time, we should now be well into the second half. They're going to restart. What do you reckon? Do you think the game will continue though? Or? Well, they reckon, I was just speaking to Alan, well, this is Alan McCoyce, and he was saying that it, hey, it should get better. So, I can't get much worse. Can't get worse. So once this starts, not due to get, it's not due to rain anymore. So the game is going to kick back off again at quarter past nine. It should almost be full time right now, but the players are back out. Almost can't be bothered for the rest of the game now. The game should already be done. It's on my way home, literally. But um, yeah, we'll see if this one continues or not. Yeah. Sure about 
to kick off because the last bit of play that happened was McGregor's goal. Worse unless it rains. So if it rains, you could be in this. So yeah. yeah. It doesn't rain, I think. Yeah. Yeah. What is going on the road? It's a game, the atmosphere is a bit flat now, very subdued, everyone's a bit tired. Wet probably as well. I've only played 20 minutes. Here we go, a bit quieter in here than earlier, but good news. We have Scran and the football's on the TVs as well. Starting to fill up here now, it's half time in the football, but look, people are actually starting to leave the stadium. I suppose because it is so late, everyone actually needs to get home, so I wonder how full the stadium will be in the second half. I made it back in time. Is it McTominay? Just as I got back. I think it's McTominay again. We've obviously been chatting throughout the game. The uh, the rain has stayed away, obviously. But what have you thought of the game so far, just from a football standpoint? Uh, I think we could be a little bit more adventurous. I think the back five uh, probably could have changed it by now. Um, not really a lot of clear cut chances. Uh, I think it'd be time to put somebody like a Christie on and, and maybe pull out a defender and yeah. maybe possess the ball a little bit higher than their half. So. Um, Hopefully we can get the third, fourth kill off, but at 2-0 the game's always wide open, and especially so for us. You've obviously supported Scotland for a number of years, just how special is it to see this group of players doing so well? Yeah, it's, 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 it's really good. Um, it's an exciting time, and, but we haven't achieved anything yet, right? So, um, you know, we've got to stay, stay grounded and, and hopefully Keep we can... Keep trying to pick up those yeah, points. Yeah, and then when we, if we ever get to the next major again, then, you know, the next, next step would be a better showing than we did last time. Yeah. So, uh, it's a good group, but... Um, we've not achieved anything yet. Right, we're almost at the end. The game that never ends continues. We're in stoppage time of the second half now. What's the time actually? We'll do a time check. It is actually quarter past 11. I hope you can see that. It's quarter past 11 and we're still actually playing here. We're in extra time. The referee's got a VAR check right now for a possible penalty. We're probably in injury time of injury time of the second half in the longest game I think I've ever been to. But Scotland are winning, so it's all good. Penalty to Georgia. What a long night. So much to take you through. I don't know what the title of this video is going to be. It could be absolutely anything. Come on, Angus Gunn. Big save here, lad. As you can see, the stadium's very empty now. Padded seats that we're in today. I'd say they're nice and comfortable the padded seats for the armrest, but um, yeah, I'm gonna wrap up and tell you how much it all costs. But we need to get out of Hamden Park.
What an eventful night that was last night. It's now the next day. I've edited the vlog right up until this point. Um, but yeah, just reliving it and watching it back right now the next morning is um, is absolutely hilarious how it was just going on and on and on. At the time, I think fans were getting a little bit frustrated in the stadium. Um, but looking back on it now, it was probably one of the funniest match day vlogs I've maybe ever filmed. Um, just chatting to people on and off camera like as things were going on. I know that Hamden comes under a lot of stick. I've always thought it's a pretty good stadium and I've always um, praised it. And when fans um, say bad things about it, I often like rebut those things and, and actually say that I actually do quite like Hamden. I do think the atmosphere is good. It's a very historic stadium. Um, it's got a lot going for it, but there have been conversations about the pitch this season already. Who remembers the League Cup semi-final weekend? I remember it was spoken about then. Um, I don't know if that level of rain that we had before the game was enough to sort of waterlog any pitch in the world. Should modern day pitches have better drainage so that they can handle any amount of water? Um, yeah, let me know in the comments below if you know anything about that kind of stuff, the technical side of um, of pitches in football. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, what an eventful night. Um, how much did my ticket cost? Anyway, hospitality. Yeah, you saw what I got through the night. I got a pie at halftime, free drinks, free coffee, one free drink on arrival that you can use at the bar, but like there was like free soft drinks and stuff. Um, as the day went on, as you would have seen, it cost £156 for pretty much the same and the food that you could get before the game you had to pay for that as well that would have been extra um, but you can get a pie for free at half time I've done a very similar package to that at Celtic Park which was £98 um, but yeah it was a good experience you get access to like the bar which you wouldn't get access to in the normal parts of the stadium I would suggest going and taking um, the opportunity if you ever do get to uh, get the chance to buy a ticket in there there's usually tickets available for games for that so if you want a bit of a higher end experience at the football then I would recommend that if you had the money to do so if not you get a pretty similar experience um wherever you would be in the stadium you get a padded seat obviously but you get a free program you've seen the free stuff that you get but it was over 150 pounds anyway yes scotland um pitch and hospitality aside amazing to see scotland doing so well four wins from four out of qualifying makes me so happy to see and like i think who is it scotland england france and portugal i think are the only teams to have won four games so far they're an esteemed company right now and it's just amazing to see from when I moved here um, right before Covid to now there's been like a trajectory of the national team and I want to see them qualify but also want them to do well in the Euros as well should they get there thank you so much for watching let me know in the comments what you thought about the pitch about hospitality about Scotland in general so many talking points in this video I don't know how long this intro has gone on for how long the video is actually going to be but yeah huge thank you for watching I'll leave one or two videos on screen if you could click on one of those to carry on watching. It would really make my day. Thank you very much and goodbye.